2025 is going to be a really good year for USB standardization. This is to the effect that within the European Union, this connector has become the de facto standard for all kinds of electronic products and the official standards for phones and, uh, beginning of 2026, laptops. This means that all devices should be able to charge from this USB-C power supply with a nominal output power of 135 watts, but practically they can't. And this is due to the effect that no one actually standardized the cables. The cables themselves can be anything from fast charging, slow charging, fast data transmission, slow data transmission, or no data transmission at all. There are about a million different combinations of this with some additional functionality that is actually not marked anywhere on the cable itself and you actually have to know that while unboxing and marking the cable. And this is where there are these specialized cable testers for USB-C cables that can be used to read the functionality of the USB-C cable itself. With this USB-C cable, for example, it's a 0.48 gigabits or 480 megabits per, per second data transmission speed, a USB 2 cable with a charging power of maximal, a maximum of 10 watts um, or nominally 60 watts. And if we, for example, take a look at a different, more ex expensive USB-C cable that also doesn't feature any kind of markings at all, if we connect it to the cable tester, we can see that now we have a data speed of 40 gigabits per second and a charging power of 250 watts. So this cable can charge my laptop, my phone, whatever. This cable can't and there's no way of me finding that out without owning one of those.